Hello Philippines, good day to all, this is Mike Padawan, we're back to our latest update and this is for today, Tuesday to Thursday, August 27 to 29, 2024 this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation one of the best educational institutions here in Naga City and the whole Bicol region but before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners Aboitis Power Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the best hotels in the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamakini Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And uh, let's proceed with our update. Here's the uh, latest GovSat for today. Uh, actually, this was created yesterday, valid for today, Tuesday, August 27. And we have a Typhoon Sunshine outside of PAR. And it's now in the vicinity of Northern Ryukyu in this uh, dot that I cr created. And it's likely to uh, intensify further. It's now almost 200 kph. And as of this time, it might reach 205. And it's likely to recurve towards the northeast in the general direction of Kyushu, uh, Japan. So it will make landfall near Kagoshima. So please take all necessary precautions. This is a small typhoon with uh, powerful winds of more than 200 kilometers per hour. Elsewhere across the Pacific, it's all clear except for some cloudiness generated by the uh, wet face of the modern Julian Oscillation, which is now upon us. That's why we are experiencing for the past few days back-to-back -back thunderstorms daily, uh, sometimes in the evening, early morning. And right now, we have a mild southwest monsoon affecting uh, western uh, Philippines, that includes Mimropa, Kalayan Island Group, the western sections of Visayas, that includes the Negros Island region, western Mindanao, and some of this cloudiness with rainfall is also uh, penetrating across the Bicol region and uh, the southern uh, uh, parts of Luzon, including Metro Manila, and the western sections of uh, Luzon, or the western sections of Central Luzon. So please take all necessary precautions for possible uh, lightning strikes and flash floods when we have severe thunderstorms passing over your areas okay and the winds here is only around up to 40 or 45 kph nothing much okay so it's not a strong southwest monsoon unless this system is close enough to the philippine islands but since it's far away the arrival of the wet face of the modern Julian Oscillation is not expected the uh, southwest monsoon to become more intense unless there is another system which is being forecasted by the uh, European model to form here to the east of uh, Visayas or Bicol sometime September 1 or 2 and it will track uh, the same track as uh, Sunshine. Okay? And the uh, risk of flooding and landslides will remain low to medium chance. And uh, if we take a look now at the fast animation, there you go. There's already an eye. I see the fortress in northern Ryukyu. And uh, we have here some cloudiness generated by the uh, moderate or the mild southwest monsoon affecting central and uh, southern Philippines, particularly the western sections, and uh, we have here the uh, tracks of all Asian agencies showing a sunshine where it will make landfall. Since it's uh, currently a slow moving system, it is likely to make landfall between 48 to 72 hours near Kagoshima, so that will be on uh, Thursday or Friday. So, uh, if we take a look at the uh, uh, latest zoom in satellite animation for our country. There you go, thunderstorms across Palawan, Sulu Archipelago, western sections of Visayas, including Negros Island region, western sections of Mindoro, Masbate, and also uh, actually it's the whole of Visayas being affected by this southwesterly uh, monsoonal flow or the mild uh, Habagat or the uh, mild southwest monsoon. 
and uh, there is also some rain showers and thunderstorms affecting uh, Bicol region and most likely through the evening there are some patches or spots of uh, thunderstorms expected during the evening okay and if we take a look at the uh, rain forecast for the next three days until uh, Thursday so there you go the uh, rainfall of 50 to 100 millimeters that's the total rainfall for the next three days are concentrated across Occidental Mindoro, uh, Palawan, western sections of Visayas or western Panay to be exact, Guimaras and also along the western sections of uh, Negros Island uh, region Samvanga Peninsula and the whole of Sulu Archipelago. Some of these, including some severe thunderstorms, will also bring uh, rainfall up to 100 millimeters across uh, northern and central Luzon. So please take all necessary precautions. The western sections of the Bicol region, like the municipalities of Pasacao, and uh, also uh, in areas like uh, western Albay, western Samar, Masbate, Western later will also feel this uh, rainfall or thunderstorms brought about by the mild southwest monsoon. And here is the uh, wind and pressure forecast for the next three days so far. If we move forward this until uh, Friday, we expect the uh, usual southwesterly or, or the southwest monsoon, the mild southwest monsoon affecting the same areas that I mentioned a while ago. And here is another area that we are uh, suspecting to form uh, through the weekend. So we will observe this. This might become the letter E of the Pagasa uh, tropical cyclone names because on Saturday it might uh, develop into a low pressure system that's within the PAR but roughly 100 to 200 kilometers west of the Philippine area of responsibility if this is the power line. So it's still closer to the power line, okay? And September 1, it might develop, okay? And move towards the north, accelerating towards Japan as well. So the mild southwest monsoon and a possibility of a strong one might affect the western sections of Mimaropa within the next seven days. So we will observe this system if it will pose any threat to our country but so far uh, we are still on the reverse oriented trough so most of the system will track towards japan or towards that direction okay that's good news for us so we will observe that for the wave forecast uh, there might be some increase of wave height on uh, thursday across the western sections of uh, uh, palawan including the kalayana island group and the rest of the spotless Wave heights of up to 3 meters, so this will be light, moderate to uh, uh, rough, uh, rough seas, okay, will be expected and not suitable for small sea vessels or fishing vessels. It will be very dangerous to have some fishing during the time of Thursday. But so far, uh, on Friday, it will start to weaken back to 2 meters. So generally, the wave heights across the whole of the Philippine waters will be from 1 to 1.5 meters, light to slightly moderate, as well as over the inland waters, it will be from uh, half a meter to 1.2 meters in wave height or 1.3. It depends on where you're located. Just check out windy.com for more details on the wave heights. But so far, it's still suitable for fishing. Uh, especially uh, during uh, the next uh, 24 hours but again avoid the West Philippine Sea particularly west of Palawan because the wave heights here especially on Thursday will reach a height of 3 meters that's uh, moderate to rough okay so please take all necessary precautions for the outgoing long wave radiation or LR anomalies this is being used for the uh, uh, arrival of the either the wet phase or the dry phase of the modern Julian oscillation right now we are moving into the wet phase as you can see that uh, violet or dark blue color or light blue color moving into the uh, longitude of the Philippine Islands so it looks like we are going to uh, continue to experience this 
rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the week okay and uh, based on the five day running mean of the modern Julian oscillation the wet phase is approaching our basin the Philippine Islands the Philippine Sea and the Western Pacific okay so uh, let's hope there will be no back-to-back -back tropical cyclones that's who we are worried about especially during the middle and latter part of September and uh, so far if we uh, uh, take a look on the other one that will show to you the forecast until September 9 so this will be the the Philippine Islands is located here okay so look at that the uh, modern junior oscillation is the wet face I mean is moving towards our area so this is the, the possible track of the wet face and if you uh, take a look at this ensemble mean GFS anomalies of the OLR come September uh, 5 to 9, we might be on the wet phase. So there might be a tropical cyclone forming either west or east of our country. So uh, we will observe the basin in the coming weeks. So far, that's the latest for today, Tuesday. And we will see you again in the next couple of days from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying uh, have a great week. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.